Hey guys, this is Max from Arsenal Giants PS3, and this is episode 2 of my Ultimate Team 13 series. Now basically, this episode is going to be quite a controversial one. People have very, very strong views about players, if they're a player they, for example, like or dislike, I don't know. Um, but this is um, this is Ultimate Team Downgrades. Now these are the players that I think should get a downgrade. I'm not, I think Vitaly is used... Um, reasonably liberally in this uh, video you know I don't think some of these players should definitely have them um, but this is you know if I was to pick think of the top 10 kind of players which have flopped this season then these are the top 10 I kind of pick really um, and uh, these are the cards which I reckon not only would be should be you know maybe a couple of levels lower but the cards that there are some cards in here that I reckon would be much better lower now we start off here with Charlie Adam now Charlie Adam is a player which was um who was sorry superb for Blackpool in his first season in the Premier League in 2010-2011 moved to Liverpool for around 10 million pounds I do believe not too quite not quite sure on the actual um price they paid for him and uh, at the start he was reasonably good you know he was uh he he had a couple of good performances he was good against Manchester United at Old Trafford won the free kick um a dive or not whatever you want to say um and uh, he was given an 80 card by FIFA um an 80 card with 86 passing which is very good and um somewhat <laughs> i think somewhat that's a bit kind of generous really he hasn't really lived up lived up to that to be honest as the season's gone on he's kind of faded liverpool finished oh what did they finish now well, they finished below Everton, I do believe, anyway. Something like 8th, maybe? maybe They did win the Carling Cup, though, so... I can't take, can't take too much away from their season, but when you look at a, you know an 8th place, 7th place, around that kind of place finish, you've got to look at the man who runs the team, the man in the midfield, and they tried to you know play Charlie Adam in that role, and personally, I don't think he did too well there. So hence, I've given him a 78 non-informed card, I don't think it's too harsh. I think, you know, if he gets, you know, that could be his kind of feeder season playing for a big club. That could be his first real experience and um, maybe, he's, you know, learn a bit more. Um, and hopefully, you know, this season he'll come back stronger than ever. But I reckon next season he should be a non-rare. Next up, we have a very controversial figure. Um, the one man people love to hate on FIFA, Gabriel Agbong Lahore. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, not too sure. A young talent who has eventually, you know, faded, to be quite frankly honest. Um, I think he may have been injured a couple of times this season, not too sure. He hasn't played every game uh, either way. Um, being kind of outshone by Darren Bent as well, even then, uh, even before Darren Bent got injured. Well, before Darren Bent got injured, even before. And um, he was one of those players that was on the fringes of the England team about two years ago. It's faded reasonably rapidly. And um, I reckon a silver card would be around, uh, about, uh, terribly speaking, would be about right for Gabriel Bon Lahore. Um, he's one of those players which, uh, you know, he doesn't score too many goals as a striker. He's not that great. And um, I reckon a silver would be about right for him. And he'd be a very expensive silver as well, Gabriel Bon Lahore. It's like about 100,000 uh, coins in excess of actually, of around that price. Um, my budgie's piping up in the background, so I apologise if you can hear a bird going crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, I reckon he would be he'd be less sweaty if he was that expensive, and I reckon that's about about right. Uh, next up, we have Stuart Downing. Now, Stuart Downing is one of those players, which again very expensive, came into Liverpool, lots of expe expectations, never really quite made it for um, for Aston Villa or Middlesbrough. Was always on the fringes of brilliance. Came to Liverpool for something like fifteen million, twenty million. Oh, that budget's really, really loud in the background. Though. I really do apologise for that. Uh, that is one of the downsides of recording videos at my house, in um, in comparison to Tyler's. But yeah, Downing, he's uh, you know, zero goals, zero assists. I reckon a 79 on rare isn't too harsh. If anything, is slightly generous for Stuart Downing. Um, hopefully, he'll get better. But I reckon that's about right for him. Really, no four star skills or anything. He just runs and crosses those balls in. Uh, next up, we have Javinho from uh, Arsenal. We signed him from Lille for something like 12 million around that, and started off reasonably well. Scored um, scored against Blackburn, I think it was. Uh, scored two on his debut against FC Con, and um, also got an assist for Robin Van Persie against Chelsea. You know, started off really, really well, but then has just after coming back from the African Cup of Nations has gone pretty shit. Um, according to FIFA this year, he was better than Antonio Valencia, which obviously 
is far from the truth. <laughs> and um, I just reckon he's a player that is, he's good, he's reasonably good, but he's around the same level as Kalou at this moment in time. Hence, he's got the same 81 rating. That may be a bit harsh. Hopefully, he will get better. I'm not saying he's always going to be like that. But towards the end of the season, really, that was the level he was playing at. Um, inconsistent at best. Uh, consistently inconsistent. And um, I reckon he's a player which shouldn't really be rated around the 84s. Uh, next up, we have Jordan Henderson. Now, Jordan Henderson is another player that Liverpool splashed the, muck, uh, splashed the cash on. And um, hasn't done that much at all, really. Uh, people use the analogy of a headless chicken, and I think that's about right for really for Jordan Henderson. 79 pace, uh, that's about right. 72 passing, 60 on 67 shooting. He's a player that hopefully will get better with time, but at the moment is pretty rubbish uh, and uh, doesn't really quite earn that 77 rating. I reckon 74 is about right. Maybe a 75 if EA are feeling generous. Uh, next up we have Roger Johnson, signed for £7 million, got Blackburn, not Blackburn, sorry, Birmingham relegated the season before, playing with Scott Dan, another player that moved, uh, and then Black, uh, yeah, they, Birmingham, and then um, Scott Dan went to Blackburn, Johnson went to Wolves, both of those teams have been relegated. Uh, Scott Dan and Roger Johnson have both been relegated consecutively, consecutively, oh, how do I say that word? Excuse my terrible pronunciation and poor eloquence, but Roger Johnson is a player which, you know, brought to kind of be the captain and the spearhead of that side and really kind of keep them, keep them up in the Premier League and failed miserably, and hence I don't quite reckon he deserves to be a gold. Um, he'll be a very good silver defender, I imagine, next year with decent pace and decent defending, but he's not quite up there with the golds, unfortunately, and hence he's been relegated twice in a row. Next up, we have another player now. Uh, Romy, oh, I, don't, I don't know how you say his first name, Romeo, 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 uh, not too sure, Lukaku, <laughs> Lukaku is one of those players, again, came in for a ridiculous sum of money, so it was over 10 million if I recall correctly, maybe 18, and um, from Anderlecht, and uh, he's just, he hasn't really been given the chance, to be quite frankly honest, to play, and that's a real shame really, Lukaku is a, is a very good player to be honest, he is a good player, um, if 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 his Anderlecht days are anything to go by, and he we haven't seen enough of him this season to make an impression, but hence I think that also works in both ways. And EA were a bit rash, uh, rash, rash. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say there. We're a bit quick basically to give him a 78 gold card. So I reckon the 74 silver is about right. And not only will you know that make him one of the you know a kind of a one of the best young players in the game. Uh, purely because he will be uh, on Ultimate Team, sorry, one of the best young prospects. It will also make him an incredibly good silver striker in the Premier League. Um, his gold non in form is amazing, but obviously not too many people can use him because, because you know, not too many tournaments going around for non in form gold sides. Um, but he is an absolute beast, uh, a player worthy of being one of the best players in their own category and I reckon he would be an unbelievable silver striker could go the other way he could be a non inform non not what about non rare uh, gold 75 or something I don't think he should be a 78 but hopefully he'll go out on loan next season or something something like that and he will be a very good silver and then come back in FIFA 14 as a very good gold um, next up we have another silver downgrade this is Aaron Ramsey Obviously, after his horrific injury back in 2010, he has he has gone downhill, I'm not going to lie. It's always quite hard to come back from those. Hopefully, he's on the way up. Unlike Eduardo, he's got more time to con to adapt, and hopefully the Arsenal fans are more... Well, not not saying the Arsenal fans weren't lenient with Eduardo when he came back, but hopefully the Arsenal fans, you know, slowly, you know, accept Ramsey and help him back on his feet rather than boo him every time he plays a bad pass, which is kind of what happened this season, really. And um, Aaron Ramsey, I don't think he's quite, you know, what is he on FIFA 78, maybe a 78 midfielder. Um, I don't think he's around that level at the moment. He's been reasonably inconsistent for Arsenal this season. And hence, I reckon a silver card is about right for him. A very good silver card, albeit. Um, but a silver card is what I think he deserves to be. And he'll be a reasonably expensive one as well. Uh, next up, we have Carlos Tevez. Tevez is a player, again, like Lukaku, has not played too much this season because he's been playing golf in Argentina instead of helping his Manchester City teammates win the league. But he did, you know, make a bit of a cameo at the end of the season, came back um, 
I think, and played superbly against Norwich, I do believe. I think it was Norwich. And uh, he is a player that I think deserves to have... He, deser he deserves to have a pretty good rated striking card. Um, striking card, one about. Good, pretty good rated striker card. Um, I think he does deserve to be 85 at least. Um, but it all, you know, kind of comes down to how F EA interpret those last couple of weeks of the season. But I reckon an 85, 84 maybe would be about right. And now we save the most controversial till last, Fernando Torres. Now Torres is a player that splits the opinion infinitely. People love to argue about this guy, you know. I've met Liverpool fans that still love him despite him leaving for 50 million. And Torres is a player which is... He's had a very off and on season. He's gone from missing that open goal against Manchester United um, at Old Trafford to um, to scoring against Barcelona at the New Camp and three against QPR to missing a bunch of chances against Italy at Euro 2012 to scoring two against the Irish. He's had a such a segmented um, season. Uh, it's a segmented, separated, um, segregated season. That's what I'm trying to say. Segregated in terms of. Uh, batches of brilliance and I think he's a player which uh, is quite hard he's an 86 on FIFA 12 this year maybe an 83 an 84 an 85 I think anywhere across those I've always obviously gone for the lowest out of those but anywhere across those I reckon would be about right maybe 85 would be pushing it 84 and 8 or 83 I don't think he should be a 79 non rare as some people have suggested but as always, he's a player which splits so much opinion, so I would love to see what you guys think of him in the in the comments section. If you could tell us what you think Torres should be rated, I would appreciate it. So thanks guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it takes a bit of a time, bit of a while to make. Um, and I do like to see some feedback. And uh, thanks guys for watching and suggest what other kind of categories I should do. And I will be more than happy to do them. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys later.